Control voltage opens up the palette of a synthesizer far beyond what is possible when controlling only by hand. Understanding how control voltage works in the confines of a parameter you are controlling is key to its deliberate use. In this video, we'll demonstrate voltage range and polarity using the zero coasts multiply parameter. The slope output is normal to the multiply CV input, so we can do this modulation without patching. However, note that this will also apply to anything patched to this input. Let's use the offset from voltage math to hold open the dynamic circuit so we hear the O-coast output as a drone without having to hold the gate open. We'll start with multiply set to full counterclockwise and use the CV input attenuverter to gradually increase the modulation depth. The thing to understand here is that the setting of the panel control is added to the modulation at the input, which is scaled using the attenuator. So for example, if we set the panel control to noon, we can modulate a large amount or a small amount. If we modulate by a small amount and also move the panel control, we can hear the smaller modulation moving up and down, so to speak. If we set multiply to maximum, the modulation is barely heard because it is being added to the maximum, pinned in other words. Even if we set multiply a little below maximum, if we keep the attenuverter all the way open, we can hear the slope being clipped off at max. Backing the attenuverter down gives us a more useful and active range of modulation. If we turn the attenuverter left of noon, the modulation source is subtracted from the panel control. In other words, it is inverted, or modulating down. The multiply parameter has one interesting characteristic in that it is possible to modulate beyond the range of the panel control on the negative side. In this case, the multiplier's gain is decreased so much that the output is effectively silent, allowing it to be used like a secondary VCA. I, 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 I,